This is a Farida, Farida, and it is a Chinese guitar. I love the logo, 3D gold effect. That looks great. It has tuners with the name Farida on it. It has a neck. <laughs> it has a neck, and it has a body with 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 the pickups with the name Farida on it and it hasn't been peeled off the plastic yet but I tried searching this guitar and I can't find it anymore because I think the factory's gone out of business but there is a Farida in America Farida USA plastic still on that as well I'll take it off it has a serial number and a very nice uh, neck plate the serial number means nothing but I suspect that might be 2007 but it doesn't mean an awful lot I think these have stopped being made it's in slightly unusual shape with a stubby uh, what do you call that nice looking neck uh, and on what well it doesn't have name on the tuners I thought it had Farida but it's made in China 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 I can't say it like Donald Trump China, 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 China! Made in China. It's an unassuming guitar. I don't think there's anything special about it, but it is a very badly set up guitar because it's too high at the top and it's too high at the bottom and the intonators are set far too high and the, the pickups are set, well, like a dog's hind leg. They're not very good either. I haven't even tested this yet to see if it's working. I suspect it will be working. But it's one of those tobacco colored guitars. Not my favorite color, not even in the Fender. Let's get into it and see what we can see. Okay, goodbye. I think we'll get into the sound of it to see if it's working. Amplifier on. Some people ask me again, why do you switch your amplifier on instead of plugging it in and switching your amplifier on? Because I want to hear how it plugs in if it's crackly. That's loose, but it's not crackly. Now that's half volume where it's always at. Sounds pretty loud. Yeah, so the front pickup's pure. There's no tone control on that, but that's pretty standard for a, stra a Strat copy. So, yes, okay, electrics are all working. That needs to be tightened up because it's it loose. And, and what we're going to do is check the neck, neck straightness now. So where is the neck? The neck straightness. I can't tell you much about this guitar because I can't find anything that, of technical details on it. No, oops, uh, there's only 50-50% chance of getting it wrong. Well, okay. That neck is dead straight. Dead, dead, dead straight. I prefer a slight underbow, but that is dead straight. And the neck, the strings are not that tight, but they're tightish. So, okay, and the strings are, whoa, 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 cut each one's fingers on the sides. They're going to have to be, sides are sharp. So, tuners are a bit loose, but they have adjustments on them. Strings are black, love. Uh, but let's get rid of the strings and have a look inside. Because the pickups sound very good, so maybe they're not just your old standard pickups. Maybe they have done something with them instead of just putting a cover on them. But we'll see when we take off this here. Because one will be taking off that. Right, let's speed this up. Georgie Girl is... Where is Georgie Girl? 
I think she's outside. She's out in her catio, and she doesn't see the hear the or hear the strings. So now she'll be in. She'll be in. She's now great again. I'm glad to say, and uh, that relieves me no end. Oh, I hear her footsteps. I hear her footsteps coming in from the catio. Oh, look who's coming to say hello to the guitar strings. What are you doing there with the guitar strings? That's Georgie girl making her first public appearance since her illness. And she's quite, she's just quite back to herself, I'm glad to say. And let, let, do you want us to let people see your scar? No, I don't think so. Look at, look at her shaved belly and her scar. And she likes daddy doing that, don't you? There's still one little stitch that needs to evaporate. But there you go, there's your strings. And she had her neck shaved and her paw shaved, but she's almost back to normal now. She's still on a couple of little medicines to help her get over it, but she's going to be okay. I couldn't tell you what's wrong with her, and neither could the vet. They just, it just happened all of a sudden. She just stopped eating, started breathing through her mouth, and when they got her into the vet's office, they did all the checks. And they said that her stomach was just so full. So they said that it was just an overpacked stomach. They couldn't figure out why it was like that there, but they had to cut her stomach open. And look, oh, there's a whisker, whatever whiskers. Eee! They had to cut her stomach open and, and clean out her stomach. And then she had to go into hospital for two days, which cost an absolute fortune. And I have an insurance policy for her. I think I'm repeating myself, but if I am repeating myself, I apologize, but uh, it costs me close to £3,000 to get her fixed and back to normal again, and I don't begrudge a penny of it. I'm delighted that she's back again and with me, so, right, okay, speed this up. You may ask me why I'm taking off this all this stuff. It's because the plastic that's still on it gets, gets beneath the screws and gets beneath the switches. And it's an awful lot harder to take off if you leave the knobs on. But You know what I like about this? They haven't just stuck a bit of plastic cover on it. They've actually stuck plastic on it that had poles punched in it. And that makes it a step above the ordinary plastic thing, which you just put a sheet of plastic over it and drill screws in it. This had punched holes. So I'm hoping that this is a little step above quality wise, the standard, you know, 20 quid plate that they put on these some of these guitars and the switches and all look pretty good but we haven't got into it yet so let's have a look and see god that's hard to get off that's another good sign mind you well it's shielded inside with special shielded paint that's a good sign Got a number on it. Right. It's got STC1NWH. Well, they're not just your average sort of uh, pickups, so that's a good sign. And these are named. Let me just see what they're. Oh, ouch. These are named. So, what are they named? They're named, is it Alpha? Alpha. And they've got a logo on them called Alpha 7G4. So that's, that's all nice. It's all nice. It means that they're not just your cheap, you know, set of pickups that you can pick up anywhere. And the magnet's strong, I tell you, the magnet just got stuck to the, the, the bridge there. 
and it wouldn't come off. So that's interesting. So I am hopeful. You know what I'm realizing? That that plastic has been on it so long that it's left the plastic residue on the actual fretboard. And if you look there, you'll see it's shiny white. Can you see that? Shiny white and the rest is all dull. So this plastic is going to have to be polished. So I'm going to have to take off all the furniture to get this to, get this to look right because it's not looking right whenever I take off the plastic. So it has to be stripped. Maybe I'll show you better in a second what I mean. But it's going to have to be a naked, a negated to get it to look right. Can you see how shiny it is there? Can you see how shiny that is? And the rest of it's all dull because the glue, actually look around the those there, you can see how shiny they are. So I'm gonna to have to polish this to get this to look right. So I'm gonna pause. Right, I'm gonna try first of all, to try to get this shiny. I don't know what you can see there. I'm gonna just try a little tiny bit of soap and water and I'm hoping that that might take off the residue. Let's just see. Not a chance, not a chance. So, do we try a little bit of, eh, just see this, a little bit of white spirit? I'm not going to be putting, uh, definitely not going to be putting acetone on that. White spirit is about as strong as I'll go. Let's just see if that's done anything. Absolutely nothing. Right. So the next that I'll try is buffing polish. And I got a feeling this is what I should have started with, but let's just see. No, no. But it's shiny there, but it's not shiny there. Uh -huh. I was hoping buffing polish would do it. Do you know what I'm going to have to do? What I don't want to do, acetone. I'll try it on the back first to see what kind of reaction we got. Acetone is pretty fierce. No, that's not going to be any good because it's leaving a, it's seeding into it, so that's no good. So no, no to acetone. Mm -hmm, that's not good. That's not good. Right, so try some more polish.
Ah, right, we're getting through with it with polish. Right, okay. Well, I'm going to change my cloth because there's acetone on this. But the polish is getting through with it. Can you see? I can't see in my... Yeah, you can see there that the polish is... Where, where are we? Where are we? Yeah, the polish has just got through the, the, the surface. Right, so I'll do that. I'm going to get a drink. I'm going to stop for five minutes and then we'll polish that up. Right, I'm going to slather some polish on this and I'm going to speed it up because you don't really want to see me polishing this, do you? You don't, do you? You don't, you don't. God, this is going to take hours. There's got to be an easier way. Got to be an easier way. I'll come back to you. Well, there you go. That took a lot of work to get that buffed up. I can't even see if you can see it shiny. I think maybe you'll see it somewhere there. But that's all nice and shiny now and clean. So while I've got this open, I'm going to put some, some pure gold. Bloody expensive stuff. I'm going to say that every time I use it, so just get used to it. So I'm going to just put a little drop on each of the, the a tiny drop on each. This is the stuff that everybody recommends. And it doesn't take much, I'm glad to say, because it's too expensive to, 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 to fight over. Right, okay. Really, you need to get in there because they get the blade on the copper. But there you go. Yeah, it's a bit stiff. No, they're all a bit stiff. Oh, I'm going to have to have more. More? More? They're all a bit stiff. I can't find the sandpaper which I had in my hand 10 seconds ago. Pause. I don't get it. I don't get it. I just watched a 20 minute video by a well-known luthier who's telling me how to polish the frets in this new much quicker way. And I watched it carefully because I'm always looking for ways to polish the frets without having to have to do this all. But this is not not steel wool and it brings the frets up beautifully. And after you've leveled the frets and sanded them down to about 1500, you just go around with a not not steel wool and do this and it's very quick to do. And it gets a very high shine as you'll see in a second whenever I do it all. Now it may not be the shine that you need for the land on the moon type percentages and uh, qualities and quantities and things like that there but it certainly is excellent but what what the luthier was trying to tell us to do was you get a bit of wood and you shape it and then you stick a bit of leather on it and cut a groove in the leather or fold a groove into the leather then you put mineral oil in that and then you take some carbon particles and push it into the mineral oil and then you let it dry and then you push some more carbon fibers into the mineral oil and then you use this stick on the frets and it doesn't damage the sides you know the way this here they've got this thing here on to stop it damage the sides well this wooden stick doesn't damage the sides and i thought you know that's an awful lot of trouble to go whenever you've got zero zero steel wool that will do that and he he took about six minutes of fret of course he was talking you know that adds to a little bit of the time but he was talking he was talking about six minutes of five minutes of fret mm. this here once you've sanded it down to 1500 and you do it like this you're getting a really high shine after about i'll show you with the camera you're getting a high shine after about 20 seconds just rubbing with the zero zero steel wool now he didn't say anything special about stainless steel frets or that you know he's talking generally frets and 
I just thought, mm -hmm, you know, that's an awful lot of work to get it. Now, if I wanted this even, even finer, I'd put some paste on it and body cutting paste on it to get it even finer. But it's shining like a, a nice silver dollar at the moment. Now, he did say that strings would last longer with a highly polished fret. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. You know, this, this is not going to cut the strings much when you see how shiny these are with this. So it just sort of, I don't know, just, I just don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't go to all that trouble to do that, to get a shine on it, especially when you get a shine like this. Anyway, that's my moan over. I'm sure his shine is a ton, hundred times better than the shine I'm going to get. But the shine I'm going to get is going to be all right for a guitar that's worth about 50 quid. But even at that, it's worth, it's like a, I've done it on 5,000 pound guitars and 23,000 pound guitars. And the people are really, really happy with it. So yeah, maybe I'm just a moaner. Maybe just am a grump. I like doing things the easy way. Cutting wood and trimming leather and buying thick leather and mineral oil and dosing it and Actually, I've only just discovered zero zero steel wool in the last six months And I'm delighted I have because it saves a lot of you know sandpaper 800,000, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000 You know this does a really good job. All right, stop garning, Austin. And when I've done this, I'll put the other camera up to let you see how shiny they are before I oil them. see them with my other camera close up and he's right in one thing it's very hard to get a, a, a good image of shiny frets you have to have the light a special way but those look shiny enough to me and they look very nice there you go Anyway, now we're going to uh, lemon oil it, but we're also going to clean it as well because this is a very dry neck. This neck has never been oiled, I don't believe. So I'm going to oil it and I'm going to clean it with the lemon oil as well on it and let it sit on there. Mmm, I love the smell of lemon oil. I'm addicted to lemon oil. Just give it a clean as well. Now I'll give it some more lemon oil. The zero zero steel wool does leave some residue on it. Suppose I should have covered the pickups, but there was so little that I didn't bother. I think those pickups are going to be better than what I thought. And they're black, black. But the fretboard is in pretty good condition. I'm going to give it some more, let it sit on it. I'm going to let it sit on it for a while now, let it soak in, and then I'll come back to it and polish it off. All right? Okay, let's get this down a little bit. I'm going to take it all off, but just get it down a little bit, and then give it a bit of a, a polish. Let that sit in it. As you can see, that's looking pretty good. And that's a nice neck. It's a nice neck. This guitar is a little bit better than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a cheap Chinese copy, and, and in a way it is a cheap Chinese copy, but it's a, one of the better range of Chinese copies. Better pickups, better, better body, better everything on it, you know. 
Maybe that's why they went out of business, because they didn't make it cheap, 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 cheap. Right, so I'm going to put this back together on down at the bottom. Put it all back together. And I'll probably speed this up, because it's just a matter of putting it all on. Right, okay. There you go. Now I'm going to tighten them down. I'm just going to check the electrics first. Okay, that's that screwed down now. I'll just tighten up this in here because it's loose. There you go. That was a quick job. And now we're back to the place where we should have been in the first place. Everything's ready. I'm going to put some strings on it and now get the height set because the height was all wrong. And uh, maybe tighten up those tuners a little bit. So I'm going to rush through the string setup. No, that's a mighty fine neck. It's a mighty fine guitar. Uh, if you find one of these and you can get it for a good price, around a hundred quid, I would definitely snap it up, hundred, hundred and fifty, because it's got a lot of good parts in it, a lot of good sounds, and I think it'll be worth money in future. Maybe if you're into keeping these things to uh, depreciate, but I do think this is going to be one of those ones that's going to be little hidden treasures uh, for the future. it's every bit as good a manufacturer as some of the high-end ones so now I'm going to switch off the amp I got another miserable little job to do which it's the same as the other miserable job is to take this off because the plastic but maybe it'll come off easier yeah it is coming off here and it's shiny right so it must have been the front was in the in the daylight or something like that so I'm happy I'm happy so I'm just going to give it a little tune up and then I'll let you play it I'll let you hear it being played I said I mean oh my my I'm talking English someday I'll let you hear it being played once I get it tuned up properly okay ciao well here's a little Farida I was surprised at how well it turned out I was expecting a little cheap Chinese guitar just to polish it up but it turns out that this guitar is a little bit more special than that. It's still, as I said earlier, a cheap Chinese make, but it's got a brilliant neck, some lovely pickups, great pick board, even though it took ages for me to clean it up, and it's got the lovely tuners. So really, if you can pick one up for 100, 150 quid, definitely worth the keeper because it will last a long time and it sounds good. tones. This is the middle. Neck. And the end. 
and treble. Pretty good. I like it. I must admit I do like it. Maybe just adjust that a little, pick up a bit more to where I want it. But overall, I just check the tuning. I wish I could play like those guys and on the YouTube they can go dee I can't. So I'm gonna play my favorite chord as usual and I'll put it sharp first on the trim. Nice little that nice little sound there. When I played that, nice, nice little sound. Let's put it up to the neck pickup. Two and a half millimeters there, and about one there. So that's pretty good. Say goodbye to it, it's going home to daddy. I particularly like that gold writing on it. That's really nice. All right, it's going home to daddy. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Some more money for a CC. Bye-bye. <laughs>